Do you ever find your thoughts drifting off so much that you feel yourself sinking into doubt, fear, and worry, that it's robbing you of what God is calling you to? Today, I want to go on a quick journey that will prayerfully lead you to discover what it's like to have greater faith in Christ. Let's look at the story of Peter walking on water from Matthew 14. After feeding the 5,000, Jesus sent his disciples ahead of him across the Sea of Galilee. And late at night, Jesus walked on water toward them. The disciples were terrified, thinking he was a ghost. But Jesus said, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Peter, full of faith, replied, Lord, if it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat and began walking on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind and the waves, he became afraid and he started to sink. He cried, Lord, save me. In Matthew 14, 31, it says, immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? When we look at Peter's experience, it teaches us about the nature of greater faith. Initially, Peter's faith allowed him to do the impossible, walk on water. But when logic caught up and he focused on the storm rather than Jesus, his faith wavered. So if Jesus called the disciple who actually stepped out and walked on water, you of little faith, what does that mean for us when we are facing trials and tribulations and what do we want our response to be? The key to greater faith is not the absence of doubt, but trusting Jesus to help us through our doubts. This reminds us that greater faith means keeping our eyes on Jesus, especially amidst life's storms. With so many resources at our disposal, do not forget the one true source is Jesus. Let us have a relentless pursuit for him to keep our focus on him and be confident that when we call on his name, he will always reach out to save us, strengthening our faith each step of the way. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you for your goodness and your heart after us. I pray for every person listening that you can bring hope, healing, and restoration to our mess through your message. We thank you in advance for that, Father God. And Father, we just pray that you can continue to give us the ability to seek you. Let it be a relentless pursuit, Father. And may we find you in the secret place. Let, let there be such a desperation for you and for us to believe that you are more than able. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.